Hey everyone, Nern Queen Alexis, and welcome back to the channel, and welcome to this ninth edition prep video? Is it kind of a prep video? I feel like it's a prep video. Anyway, joining me today, I have the legendary Mega Primer Captain Jono. Howdy. And we are taking a look at the newest rule that is confusing the internet right now, which is dense terrain. I think the only thing dense about this is the person that nah never mind i'm not gonna make the joke um so john would you like to go ahead and read this oh boy uh so dense cover if this terrain feature is at least three inches in height then subtract one from the hit roll when resolving an attack with a ranged weapon unless you can draw sight lines one millimeter in thickness to every part of at least one model's base or hull in the target's unit from a single point on the attacking model's base or hull without any of those lines passing over through any part of the terrain feature with this trait. Models that are one or within an area terrain feature with this trait does not suffer this penalty if the only terrain feature these lines pass over or through is the terrain feature that the attacking model is on or within. Models within three inches of a of an obstacle terrain feature with this trait do not suffer this penalty if only if the only terrain feature these lines pass over or through is the terrain feature that the attacking model is within three inches of. The height of a terrain feature is measured from the height highest point value on the terrain feature. Okay, so I get it. Um, so you have area terrain like the the forest and everything. If you could draw a straight line through it where no trees are blocking it and you can see the enemy's model, you can shoot it without any uh, minuses. But if it does have to go through those trees and everything, it's at a minus one. Right? Looks like it. Uh, pass it through without any chance. Models that are on or within area features with this rule do not suffer penalties if they are only terrain feature with these lines passes over through the blah, 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 models within three inches of the obscured, yada, yada, yada. Subtract one from the hit rolls made for ranged uh, weapons if it is at least three inches tall. Okay. Does not apply to models that are only shooting through their own terrain features. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that implies the, uh, the Eldar ones. No, and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, what's the other one? The, the chaos tree. The Nurgle tree. But yeah, the blight tree. Uh, no penalties when shooting at aircrafts and units with W characteristics of 18 plus. Ha, uh, that means the, uh, the, um, the Triumph of St. Catherine can actually be shot at with no, uh, no negatives through it. That's funny. All right, so... What's the confusion about this? Honestly, I think it's just I think it's just one of those things where they could have added a few commas and a little bit like if they would have broke it up instead of having it one thick like wall of text. If maybe well, that I get maybe people mean, like double reading though, because uh, the terrain rules from last edition were literally all over the place. They they were in like six different books. Uh, for instance, like if you shot at a Promethean pipe, it exploded the entire pipe. Um, it didn't get removed, it just keeps exploding. Um, like, you can keep shooting it. But that's if you're shooting at an enemy over it, and then there's the whole, the moving terrain, and then you have the forests and everything. There was a lot of messy rules of last edition that, that granted too many benefits and too many negatives, like cavalry not being able to move through ruins was one of the biggest ones. Then, yeah, I'm looking through. Go ahead. I was gonna say I'm looking through battle reports. You can kind of see this confusion. Like most uh, eighth edition battle reports, just don't even feature terrain in terms of rules, except for like buildings and uh, just standard cover, like boxes and sandbags. Well, they say all of this stuff, and then they just have these three points right at the bottom, which just sum it up really quickly. Shooting terrain just gives you minus one to hit in next edition. It appears. Um, so, and I think that's. That's uh, true with the other terrain rules. Let me see if I can find them really quickly. Articles, Warhammer 40K, and I think they're all featured in the 
faction focus uh, things where they have the terrain rules. We'll just see. We'll just see. Let's take a look at Craft World really quickly. No, they don't have it. They desperately need new models. JW, please give them new models and give rid of these penis bikes. Uh, the next one, Mechanicus. Mechanicus did get new models. Uh, no, they didn't have it. Where is it? Was it Death Guard that had it? No, no. Uh, no. Revolting Stench. They start playing Magic the Gathering. Okay, was it Strictly Sisters that had it? I know one of these things have it. Both guns never tire. I didn't even read this, to be honest. Um, or big guns. I read that as bolt guns for some reason. I think it's because I just saw a bunch of bolt bolters. I know it's in one of these things where they talk about other terrain features. Um, so let's see, is it Chaos? Maybe Space Marines? That's the Overwatch one. We don't want that one. So let's take a look. Was it the Chaos one that had it? Somebody right now is probably just Oh my God, Alexis, how can you not find it? It's right here. Meow. And they're going to comment that exact thing. They're actually going to comment the meow at the end of it. Okay. Perfect. I cannot find the rules for, um, the rules for, uh, uh, whatever it is, the, the faction focus that has the, uh, heavy terrain and light terrain and ruins in it. Oh. Uh it's I, I found it. it's it's called a uh, terrain rules and line of sight. Oh, am I just dumb? Where is that? Uh, here, I'll just link it to you. Okay, let me just get that really quickly. Boop. Wow, say somebody is screaming at their computer. They're like, Alexis, it's literally. Okay, so I guess we're just going over cover now. When an attack is made with a ranged weapon, uh, wounds a model that is. Receiving the benefits from cover from this terrain feature, that's actually interesting wording, add one to the saving throw made against that attack and vulnerable saving throws are not affected. Makes sense, that's bog standard what we have right now for most buildings and terrain features. So yeah, heavy cover. When an attacking mo uh, when an attack is made with a melee weapon, wounds a model with that is receiving the benefits from cover from this terrain feature, add one to the saving throw made against that attack unless that model is making an attack made with a charge move this turn. Wait, did that just say, or did, was that supposed to say excluding? With an attack made with a melee weapon? That is so cool. Oh my God, heavy cover is awesome. And then the obscured rules, which is back to fifth edition rules. Um, it's a more clarified fifth edition rules. Uh, ruins, terrain category, area terrain, terrain trades, balance, light cover, defensible, obscuring. Okay, so now they have things like obscuring, which is going to give you your cover save if you're behind it. Uh, John, would you go ahead and read obscuring? moment okay. Let's see uh, it's been like there we go if this terrain feature is at least five inches in height then models cannot see through or over this terrain feature this means that one model is not visible if you to another if you cannot draw a straight line one millimeter in thickness between them without it passing through or over any part of this terrain feature the height of, the, of a terrain feature is measured from the highest point of on that terrain feature. Models that are on or within this terrain feature can be seen when and targeted normally. Aircraft models and models with a wounds characteristic of 18 or more are visible and can be targeted even if this terrain feature is between it and the firing model. Note that the reverse is not true. Hmm. Interesting. So, wait. Models that are on or within this terrain feature can be seen and targeted normally. Okay, so you can't shoot beyond it, but you can shoot models on it. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that means that knights can get cover now. That's really funny. 
But guess what? The triumvirate can't. <laughs> I find that funny. Aircraft models and models with wound characteristics of 18 or more are visible and can be targeted even if the terrain feature is between it and the firing model. Neat. Okay. Then we got armored containers, which are light cover, scalable, which I think is cool that they brought scalable in, which means you can climb it. Breachable, I don't know what that means just yet. Defensible, I don't, again, I don't know what that means. Uh, exposed positioning, I guess it doesn't give cover? Wait, how does that work? Hmm, I am curious. Right, 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 right. Uh, they're actually making the board smaller now. You get to see these two players going up against each other. I think that's kind of cool. All right. I think that was pretty much all I wanted to cover for this just now. There's probably more about what the actual other rules in there mean. And they'll be pretty quick to, and easy to figure out. My advice is go to a Magic the, Magic the Gathering card making site or a Yu-Gi-Oh card making site or a TCG card making site. Print out all of the rules that are on like ruins, armored containers, uh, heavy terrain, all of these side rules for it. Make sure that they're on these cards and just put them next to the terrain pieces. That way it's easier for you to learn right off the bat. I used to do this back in 5th edition and uh, 6th and 7th back when uh, rules kept changing for terrain features. So just be sure to check those out and try that out, see how you like it. And as always, when it comes to 40K, a lot of it comes down to just agreeing or disagreeing with your opponent on certain things, coming to an understanding and then just moving on from there. Most people at your locals will just go, it gives plus one and that's it. And they'll just work from there. So I hope you guys found this video to be enjoyable. If you did, please make sure to leave your comment in the comment section down below. While you're down there, be sure to check out all the links in the description down below. There you can follow me on all sorts of social media, including Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Patreon. Patreon goes a long way to helping out the channel. As always, I'm Nori Queen Alexis. I love you guys. Bye.